Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to compare Python and SQL. So I'll get into the obvious differences first. So Python is a high level language. So that means it's similar to structured English almost. And it's a great programming language to learn early on as your first, if not one of your first languages. Python's very adaptable, it's very flexible and can be used in a wide range of industries such as embedded systems programming, databases, back-end server development and all three of those areas are very common to use Python in and you wouldn't really struggle too much to find help with Python because it's such a popular language. It's in the top three most popular languages used in the world. Um, when it comes to SQL, SQL is a low-level language so it's quite hard to learn. I wouldn't advise it as a first language, neither would most programming developers because it is a very hard language to learn. It's mainly used within databases, so uh, da retrieving data and managing them. And that's why when you hear of SQL injection, data is getting taken away from databases from whatever kind of input that they find to be able to do it. SQL stands for Structured Query Language, and some systems that use this um, SQL are Oracle, uh, Microsoft SQL Server, and Sybase. So with SQL being able to communicate and manipulate databases, it's also used for programming on the database side. And you'll see it in a lot of servers used around the world, hence the Microsoft SQL Server as well. And Microsoft isn't exactly a small company. So it's very popular. It's kind of hard to learn, but it's a good language to learn if you, sh you want to go into that field. So SQL was actually first developed in the 1970s by IBM researchers called Raymond. Boyce and Donald Chamberlain. So it's a relatively old language, not completely new. It was actually around the same time as C was invented. So just think about it at that time. Obviously, it's been updated and changed. And that's pretty much it for SQL. There's not a lot you can go into with SQL apart from databases. And the official definition from um, American National Standards Institute, obviously it's American because... That's where it was developed. It says, and I quote, it is the standard language for rational database management systems. SQL statements are used to perform tasks such as update data on a database or retrieve data from a database. So it's not an exciting programming language, probably one of the most boring out there. Python is very, very widespread and can be used in so many fields, easy to learn, and you don't really need that much expertise. So. I'd definitely say, obviously, they're two different industries, but you can use Python for similar to what SQL can be used for. So I definitely say, if you want to learn one of these two programming languages, learn Python. At least, unless you want to go into the most specialized specialist areas. But if you're watching this video, you're probably a beginner, so definitely go into Python. So if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. Tell me what programming languages you do, and if I got anything wrong, and then... I'll correct it and then, yeah, I'll update the video.